Hi everyone, welcome to our geography lesson for today. Now it's a little bit of a shorter video today because I want you to have lots of time to do the activity because the activity I think is quite nice. I'll show you what that is towards the end. Now, last lesson in geography, we looked at South America as that's our topic and we were looking at the climate. That is the type of weather that you can get in different places in South America. We're going to be building on that slightly today. Think of this as like a half lesson. It's kind of looking at the same sorts of things, but I'm going to explain it in a bit more detail. So some of these things you may be thinking, heard that before. And yes, you might have done, but I'm going to explain to you in detail what they are today. And we're going to look at climates all around the world, not just in South America, because it's important to compare South America to other places. So biomes. What is a biome? Now this is your key phrase, so somewhere in your books you might want to write this down. So a biome is a natural area, not man-made, it is a natural area of plants and animals. Now the world is divided into lots of different types of biomes and they are all different depending on their climate. So you have a biome which is a natural place. Within that biome you will have a certain climate, i.e. the weather and the temperature. Now there are different types of biomes. There's no exact number, but there are six main ones is what's generally agreed. So there are six main ones. So, so far you should have your definition of what a biome is. If you're not sure, there it is. Try and write it in your own words. Okay, so six main groups. The first one you've got is an aquatic biome. Now, an aquatic biome, quite simply, is the sea and the oceans. And basically, aquatic means water. Now, this is the largest biome of them all, because it covers nearly 75% of our planet. Water takes up nearly 75% of our entire planet, far more than land does. It can be divided into two main categories. You've got fresh water and you've got salt water. Now, salt water is what most of the seas and oceans are, Fresh water would be your areas like your lakes and things like that. A lot of lakes are fresh water. A next very large one is what's called the desert. A desert biome. I'm sure you've all heard of a desert, like the Sahara, for example. Now, these biomes cover about one fifth of our planet, which, as we know from maths, is about 20%. So 75% is aquatic, 20% is desert. So we're talking about 95% taken up just by those two different biomes. Now, these biomes cover about a fifth of the planet and they're extremely dry places. Depending on the location, they can either be hot or cold. You can get a hot desert or a cold desert. Okay? For example, the North and South Pole are considered to be cold deserts. Desert just means dry doesn't mean hot. We just think of it as hot because when we think of like the Sahara Desert, it's quite a hot place. Plants and animals have evolved over time to adapt to this environment because it's not a very easy place to live, as you can make, as I'm sure you know. So can you make a quick note, please, on what an aquatic biome is and what a desert biome is? You might want to draw a picture to go with it. Put the title, what it is, a couple of key facts, and if you want to put a picture, put a picture to go with it. Okay, moving on then, we have forest biomes. So forest biomes are home to a variety of trees and other plants. Now they cover about 30% of our Earth's surface and are extremely important to our ecosystem. They help provide oxygen. They get rid of the carbon dioxide, which can be harmful. Um, and they provide many of the materials that we need and that we use. Think about South America, got a very large rainforest, the Amazon rainforest. Now there's a kind of a subcategory here, you have what's called a temperate deciduous forest. These forests have trees which lose their leaves during the winter. Deciduous means to lose leaves. They can be found in parts of Europe, North America, New Zealand and Japan. Not all forests lose their leaves during the winter, like evergreen. Okay, evergreen, they've always got leaves on them. Two types of forests. 
three types of forests. You have a boreal slash a taiga forest. Taiga forests are mainly coniferous trees which do not lose their leaves. These forests experience cold temperatures for most of the year. So for your forest, when you've written down your little forest definition, you don't need to put all three of them down. You can just put forest and then put that there are different types of forests and then put their titles underneath. And then basically these are areas covered in trees that either lose their leaves in the winter or don't lose their leaves in the winter. Grassland. Majority of this biome is made up of a variety of grasses, believe it or not, because it's grassland, which very few trees or large plants. So it's pretty flat. The two main types of grasslands found are tall grass. This tends to be humid and quite wet, so a bit muggy and short grass that's quite dry. This biome is very popular for farming due to the rich soil. Basically, it's good for crops. So grassland is your next category. So you've got forest and then you've got grassland. Now we've got rainforests, forests all over the place, home to a variety of tropical plants and animals and are found in regions that are warm all year round. Unfortunately, rainforests now cover less than 6% of our planet, but still produce about 40% of our oxygen. Rainforests get cut down quite a lot. And one of the things we'll look at later on in the unit is how the Amazon rainforest has been cut down for its resources. And then we have a tundra. Now this is the coldest biome and therefore has little plant or animal variety. Very few animals can survive here. Tundra biomes are approximately one fifth of the Earth's surface. Okay, now this is leading on to the main activity, so it's a bit of a shorter video today. Because what you're going to have a go at on Seesaw, which I'll show you in a second, is colouring in a map of the world with the different biomes in different colours. So to start with, we're going to look at where these biomes are. So I'm going to click on one and it will show you where it is in the world. So if we start by having a look at, I don't know, let's start by having a look at Tundra. So when I click on Tundra, you can see where the Tundra climate is. So mainly it's towards the northern side of the world map. Okay, It's towards the top. Some of it's in South America, which is obviously the continent that we're looking at, but most of it is Canada and then looking at sort of like uh, Finland, Sweden, Russia over here and the top end of Europe. OK, so that's the tundra climate. Now, as I said, your activity on Seesaw is going to be to colour in these different areas. So you might want to pause the video and go and colour each one one at a time. And that's entirely up to you. Or you can wait till the end where you'll see a complete map. So that's the tundra climate. Next one I'm going to look at is rainforest. Well, as we can see here, there's a large amount of rainforest in South America, which is where we're looking. Some of it spreads into North America and the Americas, where the Mayans were, if you think about a history topic. Some of it's in Africa. And then we've got in Asia, leading into Australasia down here. Next one I'm going to have a look at is the savanna. So savanna is here, mainly in Africa. A little bit in southern Europe, a little bit in South America, and here in Asia. Now we have the desert. And as you can see, if I unclick it, most of it is in Africa. Large part Africa is already pretty much done. Large part of Africa is desert. Quite a bit in Australia, a little bit in North America, and a tiny bit in South America. But none of it in Europe, and none of it really in Asia. OK, now we're looking at the ice. So the ice here, OK, again, mainly your north and your south pole. Greenland over here has got a bit of it as well. OK, the next one we're going to have a look at is grassland. So grassland here, quite a bit of Europe and Asia, Australia, North America, a bit of South America. And now we've got the two types of forests. We've got a temperate deciduous forest and you can see Europe look at us all of us temperate deciduous forest the whole of the UK gone a bit of it over here a little bit in South America and then we've got the boreal slash taiga forest and that pretty much takes up the rest kind of runs in a straight line across here now the activity I was mentioning about you're going to need this image okay so you might need to like pause the video or come back to it in a minute 
So I'll leave this on the screen for a couple of seconds so it's easy to pause. OK, I'll show you where the activity is. So when you go on to Seesaw, you will have an activity that looks like this. Now, I thought it'd be quite nice to do it on Seesaw because you have the pen tool. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the pen tool and you can change the colour. So for the tundra climate, I'm going to decide it's blue, which I'm going to colour in there. Now I'm going to have a look back at the video for you, but the PowerPoint for me. And I'm going to look where this tundra climate is. So the tundra climate, oh, well, the first bit I'm going to do is I'm going to look up here and I'm going to colour in the top bit over here. So I'm going to go back to my activity. I clicked on the wrong button, which isn't surprising. I'm going to go on to the back onto the activity here and I'm going to start to colour in. Now, you might think, oh, a bit of a thick pen there. Well, I can make it smaller. There we go. And I'm going to colour it in. I'm going to try and do it as neatly as I can. Do it the best you can. Don't worry if it's not. You can always print this off, of course, if you prefer, and you can colour it in that way. But the idea is that you're going to try the best you can to colour in the different areas of the map. If you don't like something and it gets it wrong, you can rub it out like that and then go back to the pen afterwards and correct it in. Now, you don't need to worry too much about getting it perfectly in the lines. It's quite difficult, especially using a mouse. But the idea is we want to get the rough areas coloured in the correct colour. So the top area here is kind of looking like that tundra. OK, now I'm going to change the colour, which you can do over here. So I'm going to go for green and I'm going to go for the, uh, I don't know, I'm going to go for the deciduous forest here. Now, I remember that the UK is a deciduous forest area. So I'm going to colour that in first, nice and easy. And then I might colour in some more. So your activity basically today is colouring exercise, but you're colouring on the computer. OK, and do the best you can. You should have had written down your definition of a biome and you should have had the definitions of the different types of biomes. That's the first bit. And then this is your activity to have a go at. Hopefully it works OK. Just see how you get on. It's not the end of the world. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you soon. Bye.